I just want to repeat that you only have 45 seconds to answer the question. I'll repeat it twice, or I'll repeat it for you, okay? The final question is, you are a symbolic seed in the heart of Mandawe, waiting to bloom into a radiant flower. In your role as Miss Mandawe 2024, embodying the mantra, I am Mandawe, we are Mandawe, move Mandawe, how would you cultivate a garden of unity, progress, and inclusivity in Mandawe City? Once again, you were a symbolic seed in the heart of Mandawe, waiting to bloom into a radiant flower. In your role as Miss Mandawe 2024, embodying the mantra, I am Mandawe, we are Mandawe, move Mandawe, how would you cultivate a garden of unity, progress, and inclusivity in Mandawe City. You have 45 seconds. Thank you. Um, Mandawe is a perfect trifecta of people centricity, ecotourism, and industrialization. And I think with that three, it has already been perfect. And Mandawe City has already been a progressing city. For me, using social media as a tool to share awareness, to let people know that when we are together, there is a symbol of oneness and we can move Mandawe to greater heights. So for me, that will be my answer. Thank you so much. Calling up our next finalist for tonight, candidate number five. She is Stephanie Shudnik. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Good evening, candidate number five. Here you are standing once again, ready to answer the question. What's going on with your mind right now? Um, all I can say is I'm really grateful that I've reached this part of the competition knowing that this is a very strong batch of girls. We have girls from different backgrounds and I know that everyone is deserving to have the crown. Okay, very well said. Are you ready for the final question? I am. Okay. Your question for tonight is, you are a symbolic seed in the heart of Mandawe, waiting to bloom into, the, into a radiant flower. In your role as Miss Mandawe 2024, embodying the mantra, I am Mandawe, we are Mandawe, move Mandawe. How would you cultivate a garden of unity, progress, and inclusivity in Mandawe City? Once again, you were a symbolic seed in the heart of Mandawe, waiting to bloom into a radiant flower. In your role as Miss Mandawe 2024, embodying the mantra, I am Mandawe, we are Mandawe, move Mandawe. How would you cultivate a garden of unity, progress, and inclusivity in Mandawe City? You have 45 seconds. I am glad to see that Mandawe is a city that is a gateway of inclusivity and that promotes unity among its people. I know Mandawe is diverse. We have so much people and we are very welcoming of people from different areas. And how and a way that I can cultivate unity in this city is that I want to teach people to listen to one another and not just listen to give a response, but listen for comprehension. I believe we believe. I know that we believe that Communication is key, but communication without comprehension would lead us nowhere. In a city that's so diverse, we know that we have so much differences, but if we could connect and come together, then I know Mandawi will be a city that is limitless. We will have possibilities that are endless. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. That's candidate number five, ladies and gentlemen. And calling up our last finalist for tonight, candidate number nine. Once again, our last finalist for tonight, candidate number nine, Angela Amonier. Good Hi. evening once again, Angela. Good evening again, everyone. <laughs> it's just a few minutes ago that uh, you answered the question for the top six, and right now you're about to answer the final question, best being part of the top three. How are you feeling right now? 
I'm feeling very honored to be part of the top three. Again, still nervous, but also excited still. <laughs> With that said, are you ready for the final question? Yes, thank you. Yeah, okay. I'll repeat it for you. And you only have 45 seconds to answer it, okay? The final question for you is, you are a symbolic seed in the heart of Mandawe, waiting to bloom into a radiant flower. In your role as Miss Mandawe 2024, embodying the mantra, I am Mandawe, we are Mandawe, move Mandawe, how would you cultivate a garden of unity, progress, and inclusivity in Mandawe City? Once again, you are a symbolic seed in the heart of Mandawe, waiting to bloom into a radiant flower. In your role as Miss Mandawe 2024, embodying the mantra, I am Mandawe, we are Mandawe, move Mandawe, how would you cultivate a garden of unity, progress, and inclusivity in Mandawe City? You have 45 seconds. Thank you for your question. As a master's graduate of epidemiology, it is crucial for me to raise awareness about public health issues, especially in our beloved city, Mandawi. As your Miss Mandawi, I want to ensure that every barangay has the facilities and the resources to ensure that every Mandawi Hanon is included and has equal health care. I want to make sure that our city continues to be the living testament to a city that rises, rebuilds, and thrives against any tide of challenge. Thank you. Thank you so much. That's candidate number nine. And just like that,